Namaste. Today we are dealing with one of the most important questions from trigonometric section where we have LHS as sec a minus 10 a plus 1 all divided by 1 plus sec a plus 10 a. And on the right side, we need to prove 1 minus sine a all divided by cos a. Let's start from LHS of this question. So we continue this as sec a minus 10 a. And now we replace this one by one of the trigonometric basic formula that is sec square a minus 10 square a is equal to one. So we write here the same sec square a minus 10 square a. Whole divide by we copy the denominator as same. That is 1 plus sec a plus 10 a. Let me tell you why we have chosen sec square a minus 10 square a here in place of 1. As you may be in confusion that there are some other trigonometric formulas where one can give sine square a plus cos a square a as well as cos x square a minus cot a square a. They are also the basic trigonometric formulas. We choose sec square a minus 10 square a here because the other components in the question are in the form of sec a and 10 a. Let's continue the step as sec a minus 10 a. We write this in bracket. Plus, now this sec square a minus 10 square a can be expressed as in the formula a square minus b square, which gives the result as a minus b into a plus b. So doing the same here, we get sec a minus 10 a in one bracket. and sec a plus 10 a in the next bracket and we won't make any changes in the denominator so let's write that same 1 plus sec a plus 10 a now carefully observing the numerator we say sec a minus 10 a is common in both the parts. So let's take that in one of the bracket as common. sec a minus 10 a as common and in the second bracket, the remaining from the first bracket is only one as sec a minus 10 a into one is the same result plus from the second bracket, there remains sec a plus 10 a. And copying the denominator same, we have one plus sec a plus 10 a. We see one of the factor of the numerator and the denominator are same. So let's cancel them being common. And now there remains only sec a minus 10 a. Once again, going through the trigonometric formulas, we can express the sec a in terms of cos a adds sec a is equal to 1 upon cos a. Similarly, we can write 10 a in terms of sine and cos as sine a by cos a. As we see, the numerator 
is one and minus sign a, and the denominator is same. So we take LCM, and it will be cos a being same in both the fractions, and numerator will be copied same. That is one minus sine a upon cos a, which is same as RHS in the given question. Hence, LHS and RHS are now equal. This is all in this video. Thank you for being the part of my channel. See you in the next video. Take care.